what's up this is going to be a little bit of a different video i'm downstairs in my basement in the studio as you can see going through all of my lenses and i've ran into sort of an issue i ran into the fact that i need to be really honest with myself i do have a lot of lenses i only use like four out of all of them i have and i have a few of them that i'm trying to build sets out of but i'm really thinking to myself do i need to build, build out these sets right now i'll be wasting more money getting these lenses and modding them than actually using them so what's the point right now and i'm really loving these new lenses that i picked up the carl zeiss yenas this is the 20 my 35 mil just came in and i and i miss the look of zeiss and i, I really like what those lenses are giving me plus those are full frame lenses and i normally use the speed booster speed booster on my fujifilm xh2s not always the native lenses i'm actually recording on my ipad pro because all my other cameras are kind of rigged up or the battery's not charged <laughs> so throw on this mic here and get some decent audio it's not bad right this has the wide angle lens anyway rambling i'm probably going to be editing this on the davinci resolve beta you guys ever wonder what this what this is back here this is a lens chart this is how i test my lenses and stuff sharpness distortion yeah it's kind of kind of helpful i need another one let me talk about this first lens here this is the mamiya 645 i've used this only twice on projects i haven't used it on set yet and it is a fantastic and a beautiful lens um, but the issue with this lens is that or the set of lenses is that the widest you'll get is 35 because these are medium format lenses now again here's where i'm torn because is this future proofing with large format vintage lenses this is actually a really nice lens that can be used on narrative sets but um i need a to really get the benefit of this camera full frame or larger yes you can go a little bit larger in the consumer level because kippon has a focal reducer for for full frame leica and panasonic cameras so you can get the sort of medium format look or large format look on those smaller mirrorless cameras again that's a very expensive route to go and i do like having the benefit of seeing that character from that lens am i going to go ahead and expend that money i'll probably rent it but still i had to get the adapter and the adapter is not cheap it makes a lot of sense for me not to keep it the next one would be this canon fd35 i made a video about it it is actually a very nice zoom cine zoom lens with some good characteristics and features for filmmaking internal zoom as you can see here from 35 to 105 uh, it stays here or it doesn't physically move the downside in my books this is a downside this front ring rotates entirely so what that means if you if you want to put on a clamp on matte box which i currently only have this will spin the matte box and that's not ideal i was thinking about going down the fd zoom route and i did mention that in my last video that i want to pick up the 20 to 35 and i kind of do but right now i don't think i should i think i should hold off probably sell this so i might just do that to get it off my hands so that's that now here's the real kicker i do praise the slr magic micro primes as one of the better native cine lenses for the fuji film system question is should i be investing cinema lenses in the x mount which is not widely um, accepted and that is a hard no I actually i shouldn't and as much as i do enjoy these lenses again i'd rather use the speed booster and using my Carl Zeiss lenses I want to really invest in and my DZO lenses. Well, they're not mine, but I'll get to those a little bit later. So these bad boys are going 50, 35, 15, and 12. I'm going to hold on to the 12 because I'll be right back. Seven Artisans was kind enough to send over their new 12 millimeter T29 and it's actually a really nice design so i'm going to compare that to the slr magic one for those who are going to be just keeping just native mounted 
lenses. So moving on to what I'm actually going to be keeping and what's more important to keep are those lenses like PO mount, mounted lenses or EF. So a couple key things I, I like about DZO lenses from just the overall presentation of them because once they once this was shipped to me, it was a PL and you can actually switch out the PL um, to EF mount and they give you the shims and everything like that. So that's actually really nice and really handy uh, to switch these lenses between different camera systems, PL, PL mounts and, and so on and so forth. Secondly, they have a wide range of lenses. Um, so you have from 16 all the way down to I think 135, I think that's their longest lens. Anyway, I'm gonna say all this in the review with actual footage to show and everything because I've been using these for the last three months. I've been using them from a lot of different projects from YouTube to commercials to Kickstarters to you know what have you. So, so yeah, the probably the only native lenses I'll keep are going to be the autofocus lenses. Well, I'm probably not going to even keep the 18 like I said earlier. But this was a really like I literally came down here and said dang I have too many lenses and I don't use half of them. More than half of them. So what am I really here? And I think that's something that we all need to kind of think through i mean yes i have gas <laughs> gear acquisition syndrome syndrome but maybe it's more of like i have lens acquisition syndrome so last are we gonna last can we do that i say that because in my mind i was like okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna start building these sets and i'm gonna start renting them out um on the side for cheap here locally at least um, but I really not I really haven't had the time to do that because I've been so busy with saying 16 and then trying to build this channel So the reality is like I'm, I'm wasting time. I'm wasting a little bit more money Kind of wasting money. What I tend to do is I sell a lot of stuff and then buy new stuff with that money I sell but um, I can kind of repurpose that money for something else now. So Yeah, so something to think about do you really need all the stuff you want? I, I don't do this with cameras. I probably keep I probably get one or two cameras I change them out every maybe two years or so so cameras are fine cameras are good right now I probably will change out something by the end of next year or early next year or something like that but the reason why I invest in lenses um, I need a set to be versatile I need a set that has what my character what I want to say visually and then a lens a set that's you know part of a workhorse in terms of making content so autofocus lenses and then a set for commercial work and then a set for narrative work right now i think i should just keep the yenas the car's eyes jenna or yenna whatever those lenses build that set out get some dzo lenses and rock those for a little bit um yeah wow this was something else uh if you made it this far you're a real one um yeah cool okay goodbye I wonder how this actually looks on the iPad. This is actually kind of funny. So, yeah. All right, I'm out.